This artisan was a witness to the Westgate mosque shooting in Nairobi, Kenya, by Islamist militants linked to Al Shabaab, which left about 62 people dead. Kofi Asamwa is a Ghanaian student we met on board our flight from Nairobi back to Accra. He tells us he narrowly escaped the Westgate mall shooting spree. We're working towards the second entrance um, of, of, of the west of the mall. So as we were working, then the, we heard gunshots, and this time it was like very intensive. So we all stopped, and then suddenly we saw people just we saw people just running out of the mall, and for like some few seconds we were still standing. We were just there. We didn't know what was going on until we saw um, one security man who was actually running across the entrance and he was shot from behind. Now this is the route leading to the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi, Kenya. The area has been cordoned and the shopping mall was actually um, held hostage by Al-Shabaab gunmen. Unfortunately for us, Ghana's own Professor Kofi Awuno was a victim of the shootout. One question actually comes up. What sort of priority are African governments placing on security in public places? There's heavy security in the area and all these cameras set up here with both local and international journalists busy at post have been closely following the issue. These are the thoughts of some of the journalists on the security situation on the African continent. These incidents like uh, what happened on Saturday prove that, uh, that a lot of work still needs to be done, but these types of incidents aren't, aren't isolated to uh, Kenya. These things you've seen happen in Europe and America, and they're very, very difficult to, to defend against. Security in the African continent, really, it's, um, it's dwindled as years go by. But yet again, uh, even as security dwindles in the African country, you need to understand that there are more and more terror groups coming up. So, and, and of course the terror groups are targeting uh, the people who don't have uh, the firepower. It's up to the all African leaders to come together. We have the AU. I mean, they have to come up and decide that, you know what, this is how we're going to deal with terror in Africa. Due to the threat that we've been receiving from Al Shabaab, it, uh, it's the high time the African, uh, African leaders come together and reason so that they can come up with a possible solution. The Westgate Mall siege has prompted Kenya to beef up security in the country. The security around the airport and around Nairobi has been beefed up, they've strengthened it. It's important for you to understand, and you've seen it, that there are people going through the airport, there are people arriving through Nairobi. Do not fear coming to Nairobi. Patrons of public places such as hotels and shopping centers are subjected to thorough scrutiny before permitted entry into the premise. But one question still remains. Although such crises are inevitable, should countries on the African continent such as Ghana look until disaster strikes before measures are put in place to forestall any future occurrence? From Nairobi, Kenya, my name is Beatrice Baden, reporting for ETV Ghana News.